in a paddle pursuit. A paddle boarder is chased down by law enforcement for being out on the water at Malibu Beach. Oh, he, he faked him out. Now he's going back out to sea. All L.A. County beaches are closed due to the coronavirus and social distancing after crowds gathered on L.A. beaches early in the crisis. The paddle boarder was taken into custody for disobeying a lifeguard. In Kentucky, state police are at the ready. They plan to record the license plate information of churchgoers at Easter services. The governor warning anyone found attending a service in person is facing a misdemeanor violation and a mandatory 14-day quarantine. Beginning today in Michigan, people can no longer travel between two homes. If they do, they risk a $1,000 fine or even jail time. With every passing day, the response becomes more restrictive. Requests that people stay indoors have become orders that people stay indoors. People are being fined and arrested for driving alone, for playing catch in the park, for paddle boarding on the ocean. How are measures like that keeping us safe? The short answer is we have no idea that they are keeping us safe. They're saying, wait, so now I can't walk my dog? Now, is that what it's going to get to? Or I can't go out for a walk or um, I can't go to the grocery store even if I wait in that line six feet apart? I mean, how much tougher could this get if you were to go to that that point and do it the Chinese way if we do need to be more aggressive? Well, I don't think that will happen in the United States. Down in Kentucky, a judge has ordered a couple of people who came from Louisiana and were positive with the coronavirus to wear an ankle bracelet because they didn't stay in their house in self-quarantine. Is that where this is headed, that suddenly now people are going to be monitored and held prisoner in one way or another in their own homes if they don't do what the doctors tell them to? That seems really draconian to most people. We must stop interacting with each other. There has to be social distancing, and we may have to come to the draconian measures of shutting a lot more things down than have been shut down. What did they do in China? What did they do in South Korea? If you, not only did they have draconian social distancing and quarantine uh, practices, anyone in public was wearing a mask. Wearing a mask prevents or, or, or dramatically reduces the transmission of virus from one person to another. It should be required.